Hey guys, today we're making this dip dye sarong. I'm starting with two yards of this sheer white cotton fabric. It's kind of a gauze, sort of cheesecloth kind of fabric. It's available at most fabric stores. It's very inexpensive. We're going to leave the selvages alone and we're just going to work on the raw, unfinished edges. We're going to be using a seam ripper and we're going to make about one inch of fringe on both of the raw edges and it's really easy to do. It goes by really quickly with this type of fabric. So to do this sort of dip dye, I'm gonna be folding my fabric in half, just like this, because I want my stripes to be horizontal. So I'm just gonna keep folding it in the same direction in half over and over again, till it's about this size. For the dye baths, I'm using these three plastic bins. I got these a long time ago at Costco. They're old, they're kind of grungy, so they work perfect for dye baths. Any old containers will do. So I fill them with hot water, and then I'm gonna be adding four tablespoons of salt, just regular plain table salt, to each of the dye baths. I'm using Dylon dye in dark brown. This is gonna go in my first dye bath, and I'm just using a tiny bit of it because I actually want the color to be more of a beigey tan, not an actual dark brown. So I'm just using a little bit of the dye. And then in the second dye bath, I'm adding a bit more because I want it to be a little bolder, a little bit darker, and we're gonna add other colors to this as well. I want to make a rust color in this second dye bath, so I'm also going to use tulip red. I'm going to add quite a bit of that, and I'm not measuring this out. This is just by eye. I'm just kind of taking a look at the dye bath, seeing if it's about that kind of rust color that I'm after. And afterwards, I kind of decide that I want a little more warmth to it, so I add a little of the sunflower yellow. And as I go, I'm making sure to stir each of the dye baths really well because I want all of that dye to be fully dissolved. On the third dye bath, I'm making a turquoise color. So I'm using Bahama Blue. I'm also using a little of this tropical green just to create kind of a teal color and some of this ocean blue just to deepen the color and make it a little darker, a little bolder. Next, I'm soaking the sarong in hot water. This is gonna help the dye adhere to the fabric fibers better. And I'm starting in the first dye bath. This is our tan color, and I'm using my spatula just to kind of press the fabric down in there. I'm holding the sarong the exact same way that we folded it earlier. So I'm holding it from the very top, and I'm dipping it entirely in, except about 10 inches at the very top, which is gonna be another color. After about 10 minutes, I move on to the second dye bath. This is the rust color, and I'm going to dip the fabric into this about a third of the way up the sarong. So I'm just dipping it up and down again for about 10 minutes before I move on to the third dye bath. And I'm trying to create a smooth gradient, so that's why I have that up and down motion going on. Um, just so in the transitions, when it transitions from one color to the next, it's a smoother kind of gradient. So here we go on the turquoise color. I'm dipping this, I'm using my spatula to kind of work that color into the fabric, making sure it's smooth and then we are laying it out. So it is all done. So I'm just gonna lay this out, let it sit overnight, and in the morning I'm rinsing it in cold water. So we're just gonna try to get out any excess dye before we wash it. I'm using this plastic bin as my wash basin and I'm filling it with hot water, adding my regular detergent, and I'm hand washing the sarong because it is a more delicate fabric, so it's better to hand wash this. When you're ready to rinse, rinse it out in cold water and then just lay it out to dry. Now I'm gonna take you guys out to the beach and we're gonna check out some different ways that we can wear our new dip dye sarong. I hope you guys like this project, it's super easy. If you give it a try, definitely let me know because I would love to see. All right, let's hit the beach.